Okay, hello. Hello, Dina. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Well, tonight it looks like there is a storm, right? So some of your classmates are not going to be here because of that, because it's raining and they don't have internet or electricity. So, and it's already 8 p.m. So we are going to wait a couple of minutes for the rest to join. So hello, welcome Roxana, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you Roxana? Fine, um, in house. Okay, perfect, <laughs> very think. nice. Yeah, finally, okay, very nice. Okay, girls, Um. well, let's start, you know, the class with you. Because, you know, some of your classmates are not going to be here because of the storm, right? Let me ask you something. Is it raining there in your houses? ¿Está lloviendo ahí? ¿Dónde ustedes? Yes? No? No. 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 Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, girls. So now, you know, let me share you the screen for you. So, well, first of all, remember that yesterday we finished this exercise, right, guys? We were talking about present perfect, remember? So guys, remember, well, this week is the last one, right? So we have to finish these exercises, okay? So you can, you know, you can do the exercise as, I mean, as I am doing, okay? Or you can do it by your own, okay? It's up to you. Just remember that this platform must be finished on Thursday, okay? Thursday. Now, girls, let's move on, okay? Because I have, you know, here a little quiz about, you know, what we're, we're discussing. So I need your help. Let's start with this one. We have this one. Why so much rice today? We have this option. Has you eat? Have you ate? Have you eaten or has you eaten? What do you think, girls? Is the correct one A, B, C, or D? What do you think? Any idea? Number B. Have you eight? Okay. And what about the rest? What do you think is the correct one? ¿Cuál crees que es la correcta? So remember, guys, how we create a question. ¿Cómo hacíamos una pregunta? ¿Recuerdan? Primero, iba el have or has, dependiendo del sujeto. So en este caso, tenemos que para todo el sujeto es you. So, para you, ¿qué utilizamos? Has or have? Have. Have. Ok, entonces en, está entre B o C. Ahora, sí. tenemos el sujeto. Luego iba al verbo. ¿en qué, ¿En qué tiempo, chicos? ¿Presente, pasado o past participle? Past participle. Past participle. Ok. Ya que tenemos B y en C, ¿cuál es el verbo que está en past participle? La sí. primera o la segunda? C. Letter C, right? Eating. Letter C, yes. So, why have you eaten so much rice today? Correct. Perfect. Now, let's see another one. Tenemos esta. Day, the meeting time. Tenemos haven't forgotten, hasn't forgot, haven't forgot, or hasn't forgotten. Okay, para day, chicos. ¿Qué vamos a ocupar? Have or has? Have. Have, ok. Have. So, tenemos C and A. Solo tenemos estas dos. Recordemos que el verbo tiene que estar en past participle después. So, ¿Cuál sería, chicos? A or B? Letter A. a. Letter a. Perfect. They have, haven't forgotten, right, the meeting. Now, let's see this one, guys. Mom to Spain before. Ok. So, mom is she, right? Y para she que ocupamos, have or has? Has. 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 O sea que solo tenemos estas dos, right? Tenemos has never, drove or driven. ¿Cuál sería? B. Letter C. 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 Letter C. C. Exactly. Very nice. Okay. Now one else. Hagamos una más. Tenemos esto. You, the train tickets. ¿Cuál sería? Primero you ocupamos have or has. Have. Have. Do you have? Have. Okay, so we have Haven't bought. Letter C. Haven't bought. Excellent. Perfect. 
So it means that we get it. So perfect. So how was this exercise? Do you understand, guys? Estaba fácil? Yes? No? A little bit? Poquito? <laughs> okay, do not worry. So well, now, girls, you know, let's practice a little bit. So welcome for the ones that are joining. Guys, today some of your classmates are not going to be here because of the storm, right? There is a storm and they don't have electricity, neither internet, right? So, well, let's see. We have this exercise that I have here for you. So, well, this is, you know, an exercise that we are going to do individually, okay? Vamos a hacer relaciones positivas utilizando el present perfect, okay? So, now, is your tongue, okay, guys? Lo que vamos a hacer, primero, ustedes lo pueden hacer en un cuaderno, en un notepad, en Word, en su celular, en cualquier parte, right? Pueden hacerlo, pero lo que necesito, si quieren pueden copiar todas las sentences o solo la respuesta, ¿ok? Número uno, ¿cuál sería? Tenemos I, ¿ok? I. Me pide que el verbo study. Para I ocupo have or has. Have. Have, entonces sería have. Y luego el past participle de study, que es study. study yes. Perfect, study. study. I have studied French, ¿ok? Y así con las demás, ¿ok, chicos? So, necesito que lo hagan y una vez que lo terminen, envíen sus respuestas al grupo, ¿ok? Con su number, ¿ok? You can do it in your notebook. Pueden hacerlo en su cuaderno. Si quieren, solo pueden poner el número uno y pueden poner solo la respuesta, ¿ok? Sin necesidad de copiar todas estas, ¿ok? But I need, mm. I need you, okay, all of you to do it. Necesito que todos lo hagamos, ¿ok? Pueden hacerlo en cualquier, ¿ok? Notepad, Word document, ¿ok? En cualquier forma, ¿ok? Pueden mandarme un screenshot, una foto, cualquier cosa, ¿ok? Pero sí necesito que lo hagamos, ¿ok? So let's do it, ¿ok, guys? Let's see. We have time, right? We have time to make it. So let's see. And if you have any question, just let me know, okay? Teacher, present perfect. Exactly. Vamos a ocupar el present perfect. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. have, uh, have, have or has. has. Exactly. Okay. Recordemos el present perfect. Primero era el sujeto, ¿verdad? El sujeto. Luego iba have or has. Y luego el verbo en past participle. Omar, you have an equation? Tell me. Omar, do you have an equation? Yes. You can type it if, if you, okay. Es pasado simple o participio. Uh, well, actually, yes, there is a way. Okay, and Omar hace una pregunta que dice que si hay una manera eh, más fácil de identificar cómo es si el verbo es pasado simple o participio. Bueno, en sí, una forma fácil es que la mayoría de los verbos que llevan ed, chicos, los que llevan ed, son en sí casi son iguales al mismo en participio, ¿ok? Pero recordemos que no hay una regla para los irregulares, right? So, por eso es de leerlo. En la mayoría de los participios, chicos, si es identificarlo, muchos de ellos llevan N. Por ejemplo, gone, done, driven, irem, que okay, casi llevan N, right? La mayoría lleva N. Y la mayoría de los verbos que son en pasado, que terminan ED, la mayoría es así también en participio, ¿ok? Pero eh, la mejor forma es siempre memorizárselos, ¿ok? Es como estar revisando cada... ¿Ves cuál es el verbo, right? Because unfortunately there is not any rule porque no hay ni una regla, right? Que nos diga cómo se forma. So that's why. So well, uh, guys, let's do this, please. Okay, once you, once you finish, please send your answers to the WhatsApp group, okay? Let's see, it's 11, well, 8, 10. So at 14, must to be finished, right? A las 14, Ya deberíamos haber terminado, right? No hay ni una oración en negativo aquí, chicos. Okay? Todas son positivas. Okay? Usted solo tiene que identificar si es have or has. Y tiene que poner el verbo en past participle. Okay? Recordemos, en internet usted puede utilizarlo. Right? Puede, por ejemplo, poner study, past participle. Okay? 
o pasado participio, si le sale más fácil escribirlo en español. It past participle, ¿ok? Es lo único que usted tiene que poner en Google o en cualquier buscador. Be past participle, read past participle. Así usted le va a ir diciendo cuál es cuál, right? Y al mismo tiempo usted va a ir memorizando right, lo que ha buscado. So come on, guys. Let's do it, please. Let's try. And if you have any other question, you can let me know, okay? Okay, so let's see it. Guys, remember that we are in the last week, right? So it means that with this week, we finish this module, right? And if you have finished all your, the exercises in the platform, it means that you are going, you know, to pass the subject. You're going to get your certificate by INSA4, right? And of course, you can be enrolled in the next module, right? Only if you have finished all the exercises with um, a score above 18, right? 80, sorry, 80%. So remember, you can do the exercises um, in the platform, okay? There are there, you have instructions, but if you think that you don't understand, do not worry, okay? Because here in the classes, we are going to do that, okay? We are going to do that and explain every exercise, okay? And remember that on Thursday, all the exercises must be finished, right? On Thursday also, um, I'm going, you know, to, to, well, to review the exam with you guys, okay? Because I expect that you finish, right? We are going to review that and we are going, you know, to see some topics that we have seen so far, okay? So, okay, guys, let's see. Okay. Okay, so some of you are writing okay guys remember when you finish the exercise please send it with your name okay with your name please put your name there so i can identify each of you okay Okay, so okay, time is over, or do you need more time, guys, to finish this one? Necesita más tiempo to finish it. Yes. Falta. <laughs> okay, so let's give you, you know, like three minutes more, right? So you can finish. Teacher. Yeah. Please, um, can you explain, explain me what I have to do? Sure. Only, uh -huh. Yeah, of course. So, estas oraciones que tenemos aquí, vamos a hacerlas en person perfect, right? Por ejemplo, tenemos I y tenemos el verbo study, okay? So, recordemos que para hacer una oración en person perfect uh -huh. positiva, Primero uh -huh. va a ir el sujeto, have or has, y luego uh -huh. el verbo en past participle. Eso es todo, right? Por ejemplo, aquí sería I have studied, ¿ok? Y para no escribir todo esto, solo pueden poner número uno y la respuesta. Número uno, have studied. Número oh, okay. dos, y así, right? Para okay. que puedan terminarlo más rápido. You're welcome, Thank Yanira. You, You're welcome. Ok, so names. I see the son of you. Let's see. Ok, Carolina have sent. Ok. Ok, let's see. Ok, we are going to see. Ok, guys, remember that in all the sentences we have to add have or has, right? It will depend. Remember, for I we have have. For she we have 
has, right? Remember, only for she, he, and it, we use has. And for the rest, we use have, right? Remember that. And the verb must be in past participle. If you don't know the verb in past participle, guys, you can look on Google, okay? You have internet, okay? You have Google, so you can look for it, okay? Hey, let's see, Eduardo, do I have it here? Okay, very nice. Keep perfect. Okay, guys. So come on. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, so, well, if you haven't finished, do not worry, you can, you know, continue during the class, okay? Pueden igual terminarlo durante la clase, pero el ejercicio tiene que mandar hoy, right? Today. So, guys, you know, let's move on, because, you know, I have something else for you. Well, I hope you can see this image, okay? So, it's the better quality I could get, so sorry about that. So, well, guys, now we are going to talk about this one. This conversation, it say, actually, I have, okay? So we have Peter and Mandy, okay? So let's see. Peter, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? Okay, have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I live there for two years. Okay, guys. So there is something here that probably you haven't noticed yet. So here, guys, we have present perfect and past simple. Okay, past simple. Remember, past simple that you only say, I ate yesterday, I worked yesterday. Okay. So that's past simple, right? Now, guys, let's see. Let me ask you something. Do you understand this conversation, everything, or there is something that you don't understand? Tell me. Anything that you don't understand, guys? Any word? Yes, no. Moroccan food is comida. Okay. Yes, comida. Moroccan. Is, yeah, the Marruecos, right? Marruecos. The Marruecos, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, thank you. Okay, no worry. Okay, guys, anything else? Yes, no. Okay. Teacher, teacher, mm -hmm. teacher. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah, tell when, me. Mm -hmm. when it says, I have it several times, why don't you use it? Uh, or oh, eating. And I've, I've had have. it. Ah, let's see. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? Yeah. It's delicious. I've had it several times. Well, in this case, you can say I tried, I've tasted, I had, okay? Remember that in English, there are many ways to say something, right? So in this case, I mean, you can say I've had it several times, okay? Como lo he tenido bastante veces, right? Like this one. Mm -hmm. So you can, I mean, there are many ways, right? Hay bastante formas de poderlo decir, right? It's up to you how will you want to say, right? Depende de cómo cada quien quiera decirlo, right? But it's understandable, okay? Yo pensaba que mm -hmm. tenía que decir como, sí, lo he comido varias veces. I have eaten. It's, yeah, mm -hmm. it can be like that. I have eaten. Yeah, es otra okay. forma, right? Eh, okay. Pero también se puede decir esta o también con otro perros, right? So... It's the same, right? Es lo mismo. So okay, thank you. you're welcome, Janira. Anything, well, 
Any other question or doubts, guys? Do you have any other reclamo? Yeah. How do you mean it? Teenager? Teenager. Okay, so we have it here. Teenager. Teenager means adolescente. <clears throat> okay, significa adolescente. Okay, thank so, you. So, I, I lived in Thailand as a teenager. Viví en Tailandia como un adolescente. Right. Now, another one. No, that's all. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, let's see. Let's practice this conversation, guys. Yo sé que casi no se mira muy bien, right? Because even though for mm -hmm. me it's difficult, but if you can take a photo, a screenshot, I mean, if you can look at that will be really great. Pero ya les igual ya les mandé la, la photo, right, to the WhatsApp group. So now, guys, let's see. Let's practice, you know, this conversation, like, you know, um, so you can, you know, improve your English. Let's see. Okay, I have it here. Let's make, you know, nine groups. Okay, guys, so now you can accept the invitation. Okay, and let's practice this conversation, okay? Let's see. Okay. Okay, so, um, well, we're going to wait for your classmates to join again because they are discussing a conversation, right? So, well, let's see. 
Meanwhile, if you haven't finished, you can send guys the homework, right? So, okay, so everybody's coming now. Let's see. Welcome, guys. Welcome. So, I hope you have practiced the conversation you have understood. So, that would be really great. So, now, guys, let's see. Let me share you this presentation and this photo. So, guys, let's see. I will share you this one. Uh, let's see. Okay, guys. Now, can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Perfect. So, guys, now we are going to talk about simple past versus simple present, right? When to use it, right? Now, guys, let's see. Well, we have, first of all, that we use the simple past for actions that happened in the past, right? Okay. Action that happened and finished, okay? So over, done, finished, right? And we use the present perfect for action that is started in the past, but is still true today, right? So in pocas palabras, el pasado simple, chicos, lo vamos a utilizar para hablar de acciones que ya acabaron, right? que ya finalizaron. Y el presente perfecto para acciones que iniciaron el pasado, pero que todavía tienen un impacto en el presente, right? So let's see, guys. We have here some example, okay? So Sarah lived in Boston for five years, okay? Sarah has lived in Boston for five years, okay? El primero is simple past, y el segundo is present perfect. So guys, do you notice what is the difference here? Yes. Do you know? Are you understand the difference? Yes. yes? Okay, so Sara yes. vivió en Boston por cinco años. Sara ha vivido en Boston vivido. por cinco años. You see? So uh -huh. let's see. The first one. Sara vivió en Boston, okay? Cuando usamos el simple past, okay? Sara inició viviendo en Boston, right? Pero ya terminó de vivir ahí, right? So vivió ahí, pero ya se movió, right? Now, let's see. Sara ha vivido en Boston por cinco años, ¿ok? Dice que ella está ahí y ha seguido viviendo, right? Like this one, ¿ok? Now, let's see. We use the simple past with time words like, ¿ok? Ocupamos el simple past, ¿ok? Estas palabras. Utilizamos yesterday, last Saturday, last week, last month, last year, etc., right? Like this one. También ocupamos ago. Okay, o damos una específica fecha, right? Pero en el present perfect, nosotros utilizamos palabras como recently, lately, since, okay? So far, this, okay? For, remember? Week, month, year, etc., right? Now, let's see. We often use present perfect to say that something happened sooner than expected, okay? So, for example, don't forget to mail that letter. I've already mailed it, okay? Dice que lo utilizamos para decir que algo ha pasado recientemente, right? El present perfect. So, el ejemplo, no te olvides de enviar la carta. Ya la he enviado, okay? Like this one. I have already mailed it, okay? Like this one. And we say, we use send, we often use present perfect to say that we have never done something at any time in the past, okay? So, para decir que no hemos hecho algo en el pasado, right? Por ejemplo, I have never visited London. Nunca he visitado Londres, right? Like this one. And like, well, we have as well these examples, right? And remember, guys, if you're talking about a specific time, okay, specific time in the past, like yesterday, last month, etc., right? You cannot use the present perfect, okay? Si ustedes ocupan yesterday, o el mes pasado, o la semana pasada, no podemos utilizar el present perfect, ¿ok? Present perfect, we cannot use it. That's simple past, ¿ok? So, para afirmativo, chicos, tenemos aquí, ¿ok? Solo es un refresh. He, she, and it. Agregamos has, right Y el past participle, ¿ok? Para ser afirmativo, right ¿Qué es lo que acabamos de hacer? 
Para I, you, we, and they, utilizamos have y el verbo en past participle. Para negativo, utilizamos hasn't, ok, para estos, y haven't para ellos, ok. Interrogative, primero va el has, luego va el have, ok. Like this one. Now, guys, let me ask you something. Do you have any question about the differences? ¿Tenemos alguna duda o pregunta acerca de cuándo utilizar el person perfect o el simple past? Yes, no. Yes, no. No. Everything is clear? Okay, perfect. Very nice. Now, guys, it's your turn. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let me send you this photo to the WhatsApp group. Okay, let's see. Uh, I have it here. Okay, it didn't take it. Okay, perfect. So, guys, I will send you this exercise. Okay. So, vamos a realizar este ejercicio, okay, guys? But we are not going to do it alone, okay? No lo vamos a hacer solo. Vamos a realizarlo en grupos, okay? So, let's see. Let me, you know, recreate some groups. So, perfect, guys. Now, you know, let's work together, guys, and let's see, okay? So, let's make four, okay? Let's see, perfect. So now, guys, you can accept the invitation and let's discuss this, okay? Discutamos esto y, y cuál creen que sería en cada uno, okay? So you can accept the invitation, okay? The photo is on the WhatsApp group, okay? La foto está en el grupo de WhatsApp or you can take a photo and a screenshot, right?
Okay, welcome. Welcome, welcome, guys. Well, I hope you have practiced. So, well, um, we're going to wait for all your classmates to return, right? So, guys, do we finish this one? Do we, I mean, understood this one? Yes? Yes, no? A little bit? So, well, let's... <laughs> okay, perfect. So, well, so everybody now is here. <clears throat> so welcome, guys. Welcome. So, well, we have the first one. So let's see. I'm going to ask you per groups. Okay, so let's see. In room number one, we have Alvaro, Claudia, Maricela, and Marvi. So, guys, the first one. What is the first one? It says, when I was a child, I swim a lot. What is the correct answer here? Yes. ¿Cuál es la respuesta, I chicos? I have soon. Okay. Um, what about the rest? Let's see. Um, Esther, Jenny, Lorena, Sandra. What do you think is this one? The first one. The first one. Yeah. I swam a lot. I swam a lot. I used to swam a lot. Perfect. So that's past simple, right? Pasado simple. Perfect. Swam. El pasado de swim, chicos, es swam. Okay. When I was a child, I used to swam a lot. Okay. Thank you. Now let's see. We have the second one. And this question is for Eduardo, Jennifer, Roxana, and Janira. It says, so far this week, we study a lot. What do you think, guys? We have studied. We have studied. Perfect. That's person perfect. Very nice. Now, let's see. I have now, let's see another group that I have here. Uh, well, group number four, I have Ambar, Dina, Noemi, and Salvador. Theo, be very sick recently. What is the correct answer? Theo has been. Has been. Has been very sick recently. Been. Very nice. Perfect. Now let's see. Okay, now let's go back to group number one. Let's see. Alvaro, Claudia, Maricela, and Marvin. Let's see. I have a terrible headache yesterday. Yesterday. What do you think is the correct one? I I have I haven't I haven't yes no okay and what about I the rest okay a terrible a, a terrible update yesterday okay let's see um Esther Jenny Lorena and Sandra tell me what is the answer here I have. Have. I have, yes, yeah, so el pasado de have, right? Pasado de have is have. have. I had have. a terrible headache yesterday. Okay, es past porque tenemos yesterday, right? Yesterday. Recordemos que no podemos utilizar present perfect si tenemos estos, right? En este recently, okay, como vimos, uh, let's see, uh, como vimos aquí, right, guys? Let's see, here. Aquí tenemos una simple past, podemos utilizar estos, ¿ok? Pero para present perfect no los podemos utilizar. Para present perfect podemos utilizar estos, right? Now let's see, guys. Ok, we are here. So now, number five. Let's see. I'm going to ask this time to Eduardo, Jennifer, Roxana, and Janita. Tell me. Eat a lot lately. Mm -hmm. It has rained a lot lately. Perfect. It has rained a lot lately. Very nice. Now let's move on. Let's see. Uh, well, this question is for, let me see who do I have here. Ambar, Dina, Noemi, and Salvador. Tell me, they get married 10 years ago. 
-hmm. Yes. They. Got. They got perfect. They got married 10 years ago. Ellos se casaron, right? 10 años atrás. Very nice. And now the last one, guys. Esta es general, right? I be to Balboa Park many times. ¿Cuál sería aquí, chicos? Esta es para quien sea. Okay. I've been. I have been to Balboa Park perfect. So now, guys, if you see here, I have the answers. You see? So when I was at Shell, I swam. I have studied, has been, had, has trained. So, and we have this one. So, guys, let me ask you, do you have any question about this? Tenemos alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Algo que no haya quedado muy claro, chicos? Yes, no. Teacher, lo del mm -hmm. presente y lo del pasado me confunde. El presente, ah, ok. So, bueno, el presente, recordemos. Luego, el, el simple present, well, sorry, el, el present perfect lo utilizamos para una acción que sucedió en el pasado, pero que todavía está en el presente, right? O para mm -hmm. decir experiencias que tuvimos. Pero el pasado, el pasado en sí, es algo que ya finalizó, ¿ok? Don, ya estuvo hecho, mm -hmm. ya, ya no está ni en el presente, ya murió en el pasado, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, when I was a child, ¿ok? Cuando yo era un niño, ¿ok? Yo nadé mucho, ¿ok? Cuando era un niño, ¿ok? Cuando yo era un niño, ya no soy un niño ahora, right? Por eso es que es pasado, ¿right? Ahí murió. Y aquí dice, so far this week, ¿ok? Hasta esta semana, ¿ok? Que hasta esta semana es como que estoy diciendo que he venido en todas las semanas, right? Ha venido desde el pasado, ¿ok? I have studied a lot. Es, hemos estado estudiando mucho, ¿ok? No hemos finalizado de estudiar, seguimos estudiando. That's why. Teacher, mm -hmm. what's the meaning of so far? So far es como hasta aquí. Like this one. Hasta aquí. So far this week. Hasta aquí esta semana. Ok. O hasta este momento en esta semana. Ok. So far. Ok. Hey, guys. So Peter, recordemos. Uh -huh. I have a question. Tell me. What is the difference in haven't, I haven't and uh -huh. I, I don't. What is the difference? Oh, ok. I, I haven't. haven't. Yeah. Okay, I haven't. Negativo, negativo. Yeah. So, recordemos, I haven't, lo vamos a utilizar para el present perfect, okay? I haven't, y después del haven't, <laughs> tiene que ir un verbo en past participle. Si yo ocupo el don, chicos, ya no estoy hablando en present perfect. Estoy hablando en simple present, okay? En simple present, we use doesn't or do, okay? Doesn't or don't, los ocupamos en eso. Por ejemplo, I don't like pizza, ok, o I don't like play soccer, ok, like this one, recordemos, o I don't have money, ok, el presente simple es para hablar de actividades, ok, diarias, ok, o para cosas que están pasando, right, en el simple, en el simple present, right, pero si ustedes miran, I haven't, y después sigue el verbo en past parties, y por recordemos que es present perfect, ok, present perfect, ok, Present perfect, chicos, algo que ha estado en el pasado, pero que todavía está en el presente. Por ejemplo, it has rained a lot lately. Ha estado lloviendo bastante, ¿ok? Recientemente, ¿ok? Es algo que ha pasado en el pasado, pero que todavía está aquí, right? Porque ha estado lloviendo. Ha estado lloviendo, ¿ok? Y this one. I had a terrible hair yesterday. Thank you. Tuve un terrible dolor de cabeza ayer, ¿ok? Tuve ayer. Ok, ayer. Yo no puedo decir, he tenido un terrible dolor de cabeza ayer. Ok, porque eso, he tenido. Ok, tuve. Ok, tuve un dolor de cabeza. Suena mejor, right? That's why. Ok, guys. I know it's kind of difficult probably to understand right now. Probablemente para algunos de ustedes como que no, no, no tenemos mucho, right, guys? Pero... As soon as we practice, en tanto practiquemos, right, guys? Se nos va a ir quedando, ¿ok? Recordemos el pasado, pasado, right? Ahí quedó. Y el presente perfecto, 
es algo que inició en el pasado, pero que todavía está en el presente, ¿ok? ¿Got it? Yes. Ok, perfecto. Do not worry, guys. Let's see. We're going to review Thanks. another exercise that I have here for you. So do not worry, ok? So let's see. I have this exercise. Let's see, guys. Vamos a ver. So let's see, guys. Tenemos how many times to New York? ¿Cuál creen que sería, guys? Tenemos U and B. Mm -hmm. Letter B. Okay. How many times have you been to New York? ¿Cuántas veces has estado en New York? Right? In New York. Okay. Esa es la respuesta. ¿Cuántas veces has estado? Have you been? Okay. No puede ser esta porque ¿Cuántas veces um, fuiste o Estoy estuviste triste. en New York? Mm, no, no sería correcto. How many times were you to New York? Okay. ¿Has estado en New York? No. ¿Y has you been? Recordemos que no se puede esta. ¿Por qué? Porque para you tenemos have, no has, right? Y esta, esto ni siquiera existe, right? No se puede was you tampoco, okay? So, this one, guys. Recordemos, ayer vimos cómo se formaba una pregunta, right? Cómo se hacía. Primero iba el have, okay? Luego iba el sujeto y luego el verbo en past parts. Ahora, chicos, tenemos last July, they spend their holidays in Rome, okay? Enfoquémonos en esto, chicos. Last July, el último julio, right? O el julio pasado, ¿ok? Ellos... Letter A. Spend. ¿Cuál es el Aquí tenemos el verbo. ¿Cuál es el pasado de spend? Es spend. Perfect. So, en este caso es spend. ¿Por qué es spend y no have spend? Guys? Let me explain. You, ¿Ok? El julio pasado es como que pasé o gasté mis vacaciones en Roma, right? En Roma. No puedo decir que el julio pasado he estado eh, gastando, gastando mis vacaciones en Roma, ¿verdad? Eso no tiene sentido, right? So ahí donde tenemos que ir como tomando ya un poco de sentido, right, guys? Now, let's see, guys. Este ejercicio, porque en si la yo... bolsa, princesa. Yes. No <laughs> yes, so guys, este ejercicio, let's see, we are going to do it, okay? Lo vamos a hacer cada uno individually, ¿por qué? Porque quiero ver qué tan bien estamos aquí, okay? Do not worry, this is not evaluated, esto no es evaluado, okay? Es para práctica, okay? Quiero ver qué tan bueno estamos, y traten de hacerlo a su conciencia, okay? No importa si usted falla o no, okay? Esto lo vamos a hacer de esta forma. Let's see, guys, les estoy... Bueno, ya les envié el link, guys, y se lo voy a enviar también al grupo de WhatsApp para que puedan hacerlo, ¿ok? So, guys, let's start doing this exercise, please. Iniciemos este ejercicio, ¿ok? So, now that we have time, right? So, guys, please don't be afraid, no tengan miedo, ¿ok? Si se equivoca, muy, está bien, right? Está bien porque estamos aprendiendo, right? So, let's see, guys. Ya les envié el link aquí en el chat box de Zoom y también en el grupo de WhatsApp. So, you can copy pace and start doing it, okay? So, come on, guys. Tratemos de hacerlo a nuestra conciencia, okay? Con lo que hemos entendido. Tratemos, si le funciona este tip, traten de hacer la traducción al español, right? Traten de hacerla al español y se van a dar cuenta si suena bien o no, okay? Si suena bien rara, ustedes van a, se van a dar cuenta si es present perfect or past simple, okay? So let's just start doing it, okay, guys? Una vez que terminemos, please send me the screenshot, okay? To the WhatsApp group. Y si ustedes aún siguen teniendo un poco de duda, chicos, en YouTube están las clases, right? En YouTube pueden revisar las clases donde explicamos cada uno, ¿ok? Por si no asistió o se le pasó algo, right? 
puede revisarlo ahí. Yo también les envío unos links, guys, el día de la clase, para que revisar, right? Eh, y también, chicos, les voy a enviar, bueno, el link de la diapositiva para que lo tengan, right? By any chance, para cualquier cosa, pueden revisarla también ahí, right? ¿Cuáles son las diferencias? Pero si usted cree que ni aún así no ha entendido muy bien, chicos, recordemos que también tenemos internet, right? También tenemos internet. Usted puede también buscar, chicos, ok? Puede, si siente que prefiere una explicación en español, hay bastantes videos en YouTube, right? Pero creo que también es, eh, si usted entendió aquí, pues, very good, ¿ok? Pero si cree que aún necesita algo más, puede buscar, right? That's okay. So now, guys, let's do it, right? Let's start doing this, and let's see. And if you have any question, ¿ok? Meanwhile, you are doing, you can let me know, ¿ok? So come on. Remember, guys, you are here to learn, right? Not to pass the module. You are here to learn, okay? To learn English, right? So please not, don't just try, to, you know, to pass the subject, okay? Just to get your certificate, okay? Don't do that just for that. Try to learn English, okay? Try to learn and understand everything so you can get, you know, very possibilities, right? When you have learned this idiom, okay? So if you are here, it's because you are learning, right? So, and do not worry if you don't understand everything, okay, in the same time, okay? Remember that we have, I mean, over time, so we can, you know, like learn slowly. So that's okay, right? Don't hesitate in learning, okay? So come on, guys, let's see. If you have sent me, okay, you can send me the screenshot of this score, right? The screenshot, a photo, or anything that you have, right? To the WhatsApp group, you can send me it. So come on, guys. Okay, perfect. I have received some of you. Okay, 7 of 12. Very nice, guys. So, don't worry. Remember that some of these exercises, okay, um, at least, I mean, you, you get a very good score, okay, guys? So, that's what matters, okay? Now, let's see, guys. Um, well, meanwhile, some of you have, are finishing these exercises. Let's move on for the ones that we have finished, okay? So, guys, in the platform, we have this exercise, right? This exercise that is about present perfect and simple past, okay? So let's see, guys. We have the first one. It says, you ever in a karaoke bar sing? What do you think is the correct answer here, guys? Have sung, have sung, or have soon? Yes? The ones that have finished, los que ya terminamos. Yes. Any idea? No. Okay. So in this case, you ever have in a yeah. Have some. Have some. Perfect. This one. Because remember, we use have and the very past participle. Very nice. Now we have yes. Y tengo I. Luego tengo punto. Okay. One on my birthday. Okay, so in this case, it would be what? Yes? Have fun. 
Yes, I have. Okay, el primero es I have. I sang, right? Aquí combinamos el pasado, right? I sang one of my birthday. Canté una de mis cumpleaños. Very nice. Now this one. You ever something valuable lose? What do you think, guys? Have you? Have. Have you ever? Have, have lost. Have you ever lost? Very nice. No, I, punto, but my brother, his camera on a trip once. No, en este caso es negative, right? Sería haven't, right? Not no, I haven't, but my brother has. Has. Lost. Has lost this one? Yes. Okay, what about dress? ¿Qué opinan los demás? It's, is it okay? O oh, es only. No. Okay. Recuerda, aquí hay punto. No, I have. I haven't lost. Second. Yeah. No, I haven't. But my brother lost his camera. Okay. Perdió mm -hmm. su camera, right? Very nice. And let's see. Yeah, we have this one else. So, well, this one, you can, guys, do it, you know, at your home, right? Like this one, we are going to make it, right? Let's see. Well, I have received some of you. Okay. So, well, uh, some of you have a very good punctuation, guys. I mean, all of you have seven. That's very nice. Seven, A, 11. Perfect. Okay. Guys, very nice. I like it. So it means that we have learned so far. That's very nice. So guys, let's see. Just to, you know, show this one. Uh, yeah, so we are right. You see? Like this one, guys. We have like this one. So guys. Remember, we have already passed this exercise. Okay, ya pasamos este ejercicio, okay? Recordemos, solo queda uno, right? In the platform, if you haven't finished, okay? Si no han terminado, solo queda uno, right? Y el exam, right? Do not worry. The exam, we are going to make it on Thursday, okay? El jueves, vamos a realizar el exam, okay? So do not worry, okay, about it. Vamos a revisarlo y vamos a... As well, a revisar, bueno, unos topics que hemos estado viendo, right? If you haven't understood. So, well, guys, you know, time is over. You know, it was really nice to see you tonight, guys. So, I hope to see you tomorrow. And I hope you have a very good night, okay? So, take care and have a good night, okay, guys? Good night. Go to good bed. Night, good night. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye.